Hi guys, uh, so it's Andy. Um, this has been a long time coming. Um, I've been meaning to make videos and I've been going to therapy a lot again recently and I've come to the conclusion that I don't do these videos as much as I used to because I never have time for it and I never have any opportunities where I can sit down and think and process the feelings that I need to for videos like this and then take the time to film it and take the time to edit it. Also, I don't have a computer anymore so I can't really edit videos properly on a phone. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> if anyone has any tips, that'd be great. Um, so today I'm talking about um, my new types of testosterone that I've been taking. I've been trying a lot of different kinds. Um, recently, this is my most recent, uh, this was this was my first try going from shots then to uh, a gel. Uh, this is a testosterone gel. I've taken all my, uh, all my information off of it, but um, it's a uh, 50 milligram a day packet. Uh, there were uh, one day packets and there's 30 doses in here. Let me show you what it is. It's this. Um, you take it and you rip it in half and there's the one package for your day. Um, they have like expiration dates on it and stuff, but that's all normal. Um, it works just like hand sanitizer and is actually, hand sanitizer is the best way I can describe it and the best way that my doctor can describe it. Um, it dries really quickly. Uh, be warned though, there is another kind. Um, it's a blue box. I don't actually know what the brand is. Um, this one's Perigo. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's, uh, this one's Perigo. It's really, really good. This one dries in about two minutes-ish. Um, my other one that I had took like an hour to dry and it was ridiculous and obnoxious. The only problem with this is that you can't put it on anywhere where someone else is gonna touch. My doctor told me to put it on my forearms right here but that was stupid, and my forearms aren't big enough uh, <laughs> yet. Um, so my forearms aren't big enough for that, so I couldn't do that. I ended up putting it um, on my shoulders here um, and on my sides, uh, uh, around my waist and my sides. Um, and this ended up working really, really well, but then uh, the low dose wasn't working for me. I needed more. Um, so then she upped my dose. I couldn't afford the full dose, so what I could afford was two boxes of this and then taking two packets a day instead of one. And that became so excessive. And every day I put this on because I have a dog and I go to work right after. Um, you can put clothes on right after it dries. So you put it on, put the clothes on and you're fine. Just don't let anyone else touch it. Um, my issue was is that because I have a dog and because I'm around my dog all the time, he sleeps in my bed, I had to use gloves to put this on and it became such a hassle and such a problem once it became two packets a day. It wasn't worth it for me anymore. So um, my doctor then prescribed me or offered me to try this, which is a patch instead. Uh, I can show you what it looks like actually. So um, I'm wearing it right now. It's a daily patch, so I get a box of 30 of them. The only problem is, is that these are crazy expensive. Um, the gel with my insurance, now I mean crazy ex expensive with insurance. Um, this box here cost me $4 for a month dose, um, and this box here cost me $30 a month for a dose, so that kind of sucks. Um, and I think I was paying like 12 or 13 bucks a month uh, for, um, I think it was, or 12 or 13 bucks for, I want to say five 1 ml vials, uh, so I mean, this is like this is like twice what I would pay with the uh, with the vials. So I mean, I think that price range is just about the same, but with or without insurance, it's still got like um, still the same type of variance, you know. Um, so the patches are going to be a lot more expensive than the gel, which is a lot more expensive than the actual shots. Uh, but I gained needle phobia, and I tried and I tried and I tried, and I just couldn't continue with the shots. So here's my patch. Um, you take the uh, rip off the package. Um, you pull it out and uh, it looks like this and uh, you just separate it from the clear backing like you separate this bit from the clear backing you just peel it off slap it right on um, you can put this on your shoulders um, and you can also put it um, uh, around your hip area and your legs but you can't put it anywhere near your chest. Pretty much the same areas as the um, as the gel. I really like this, but apparently um, I've talked to one of my uncles who's a doctor and prescribes testosterone to a lot of people for like mainly just cis men for um, like low testosterone. So he says that a lot of people have issues with this because it gives them a rash, but so far it hasn't done that to me, so I like it. Um, 
yeah, that's really it. I think I might need to up my dose. This is four milligrams per day on it, and I've been on it for two months now. Um, I feel like I need to up my dose, and my doctor's going to talk to me about that. And I think that there's a 6.5 milligram per day option. So there's that. Um, that's really it on my uh, hormones. I tried the gel from May until December. And it was really hard and I was off my hormones for a lot because it took so much effort um, and it really fucked up my doses um, and it really messed up my, my hormones in my body. Um, and then while I was on this, they tried to change my dose to a higher dose and in all of that, they prescribed me the patches, a pump gel, a cream and like five different things and it took two months. So I was off my hormones for two months on top of that. Um, that's really it. Uh, if you have any questions on the patches or the gel, please, I mean, ask me, let me know uh, if you have any questions because I was on it for a while and I, I can do my best. I mean, I understand everyone's different, um, but I can always share my experience on it. Uh, hopefully I'll be posting other videos, but um, I also am ordering a gender mender packer sometime once my, uh, once my tax money comes back. So I'll also be doing a review of that once I get it. It was great seeing you guys again. Bye.